Hey guys, so I wanted to come in and talk about the Real Housewives episode that just aired. I think it's episode 6, season 9. Um, there's a couple things in there that I don't know, I just wanted to kind of like talk about. Um, so yeah, I'm just popping in with my thoughts. So it was a pretty, you know, mediocre episode, but there were a couple things. So, um... Nothing really happened with Cynthia. Nothing really happened with Sheree. She was trying to get her son um, into modeling. I think he is really good looking kid. I think he could model. I mean, why not? <laughs> he's got the bone structure, you know. He's, um, you know, he's got a he's pretty much got what it takes. I think. I mean, he's got a good body. He is a bit tall, like Cynthia said. I feel like, you know, Sheree does need to stop trying to shield him because the fashion industry is very cutthroat. Like, they they don't care about picking your kid gloves and, oh, well, maybe you're not the best. They're just going to tell you, like, look, you're too tall. You're too this. You're too that. You need to lose weight. You need to gain weight. Like, whatever the case. Well, I don't think they're ever telling anybody you need to um, gain weight. But, yeah, <laughs> whatever it is, they're going to tell you what you need to work on and they're not going to be nice about it so she needs to stop shielding him now because it, you know that's what comes with modeling it's, you're going to be scrutinized harshly um but yeah other than that you know what happened with oh kenya okay so i think it's really interesting that kenya um was so like you know the little one's kicking me, kicking my camera, kicking my computer. Okay, so yeah, I think it's really interesting that Kenya was so, you know, every five minutes talking about how Christian is so, um, you know, violent. She's so, you know, it, she, she's not, she, she can't control herself. She's out of control. She's, you know, always getting violent, always doing this, always doing that. But look who you with. Look at you, you would a dude that's tearing up your house, in your words, tearing up your house every time he gets upset. And then, at the same time, while you're telling us about how he's tearing up shit, then you turn around and be like, but I know he loves me, and I, I love him, and he loves me. Like, she just wants everybody to know that she can be loved, you know what I mean? Like, he loves me, I know he loves me. Like, girl, who are you trying to convince? That's what I want to know. Who are you trying to convince that he loves you? Yourself or us? Because it seems like you don't even believe that maybe you don't believe that, you know, he loves you and you're trying to convince or you just want the public to know that somebody actually can love you <laughs> because I don't know you, but from what I can see, girl, it looked like it's difficult as hell to, to love, to love you, girl. Okay. Um, and he, he got a temper on him, he probably ain't the person to be with you because anybody that need, that's going to be loving you is going to have to be real patient and real, real even keel control their temper because when the way you act, when you get to girl, okay, that's all I'm saying. I don't know. I mean, I don't want to talk bad about somebody, but you know, Kenya, she one of them people that. I don't know. It's not that I don't want to talk bad about her. Um, that I don't want to talk bad about people. I try not to, cause you know we all get those urges to talk. To. But she is, she make it real easy to talk shit about her because of how hypocritical she's been talking shit about Portia. And now look who she's with. She's with this dude. That, I mean, look, he's he's younger than I am. I mean, twenty something. Don't know how to control himself. Breaking up her shit. Uh, I I was watching um I was watching Call Me Pink uh video, and um she was showing all the mug shots he's had. He's had already four mug shots just this year. Four. So I'm just like, you you really can't talk shit about Portia no more. You just can't because. Look at look look at the situation. 
So, and then she brings her dad in this episode. And she's basically like, you know, trying to get her dad to, you know, put him in his place and stuff like that. My dad said, you can't talk to me like that. You need to stop talking to me like that. Like, how old are we? 12? 13? Is this your four, first boyfriend that your daddy's going to get on the phone with him and and tell him how he has to treat you? Like, I can understand, you know, there's some instances where shit happens and your family wants to get involved and your family wants to let it be known, like, look, I don't want no, you know, this is my daughter. I don't want you to do no bullshit, um, which is understandable, but it just felt like she, it felt like it wasn't that the father wanted to do it. It felt like she wanted him to do it or, or was kind of like trying to encourage that situation to happen because she wants to you know to have people to back her up you know even though she probably in all the way right in the situation and I don't believe for one second that whatever their fight was was about her posting a video a fucking uh picture of her and Jay-Z like what I feel like it was some other shit that she was wrong for and in case you know she wants to save face and she's not gonna say what she really did but she even said on um, last episode, I wasn't always nice to him. And I believe that was the thing too. She probably treated him like shit. And he is already somebody that's not stable. So he's probably, you know, holding on to that. And he's angry about this. And he's, he says, you know, in this episode, he actually says also that she doesn't apologize for anything. It's always like, oh, get the hell, get the F out of my face type of apology. And as soon as he says that, she talks over him I just want to be safe that's a classic Kenya thing whenever somebody else is ha is making a point a valid point about something about her that maybe isn't the best that needs to change she starts immediately over talking them and making trying to make them look bad by bringing up oh I want to be safe and you're tearing up my house and da -da -da. that's her thing she'll use whatever you have done against you Hold it over your head, even when that's not the topic. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just seems like a manipulative person that way. So I can understand kind of where Matt is coming from when he's saying she's manipulative. Because we see it every week when we watch. We see her manipulate even just the conversation. So I just thought that was really interesting that she's going through this now. Um, and her dad is just like, I don't know. Her dad is too much. But yeah, her dad was, you know, actually trying to get Matt to like, you know, don't give it up. Don't give it up. And I'm like, why? Can you clearly not see that this is not a match? Like, this is not a love connection. Like, he's like, don't give it up. If it's my little, my little baby's kicking my uh, computer. He's like, you know, don't give it up. If this is real, don't let her go. Um, And if it ain't real, just walk away. And we see what happened. He walked away. So that was that. Um, what else happened this episode? It was, oh, Candy and Phaedra. So, Candy and Phaedra. Now, the thing about it, the thing about this, uh, scene that I didn't like, this, all this kind of, you know, conversation that they had that I didn't like was, it seemed like, Phaedra just sucker punched, I mean, Candy just sucker punched Phaedra, and she wasn't even expecting it, like, she just went in there thinking, like, you know, she's gonna talk about whatever happened with Mama Joyce. Candy went in there, and she knew, if she didn't know, I would be surprised if she just came up with all that in the moment and just decided to just spill all the beans and all the tea, because that's what she did, she, she was like, yo, um... That's real cute that you want to um, bring me here to talk about my mama, but, you know, I'm here to talk about how you was talking shit about me, and, you know, meanwhile, you was waiting, you know, you was acting like you was so torn up about Apollo, uh, you know, being a, a, a single parent and me not supporting you. But you was actually happy that he was leaving. And when we talked, it was like he was happy. And I didn't, you know, I kind of understood her wanting to let that be known. But at the same time, it just felt so 
the timing just felt off. Like, why, Candy, why are you bringing this all now? It's almost like, it almost felt to me like, you know, when you have an argument with somebody and, you know, you leave the argument and you just think about all the stuff that you could have said that you didn't say. And you're like, oh, man, I could have hit her with this. I could have hit her with that. And I didn't. And now I'm mad. You know, you get mad all over again and you just think about all the shit that you could have said. It's almost like that. It felt like she thought about all the shit she didn't say last season. And she was like, you know what? I'm going to just say all the shit that I've been wanting to say. But it just felt like y'all weren't really at that point where y'all was arguing. And you were just like, oh, well, you know what? It, you know, it felt like if it was already a war of words and then, you know, the gloves are off, the gloves are off. It just felt like she sucker punched Phaedra with it. Like, they weren't yet at that point to where they was in a war of words but she was just like i'm about to just hit yo hit you up right now in front of the cameras and let it be known um you know she just letting all this shit come out and i mean it's like I, on one hand i could understand her wanting to do that because phaedra did kind of you know she she she's she's shady she has shaded um candy last season and her husband so, you know, I can understand that. But at the same time, the way Candy is doing it, it just seems like, it's just weird to me. Maybe because Phaedra's not really coming back, fighting back, saying anything in retaliation. And maybe, maybe Phaedra's not saying anything in retaliation because of the fact that this might just be the tip of the, tip of the iceberg as far as what candy knows and phaedra knows that and she's like oh shit okay um i want to come back and say something but if i do it might just be you know she might just come out with the real skeletons you know what i mean like she might just put all my shit out there and i don't want that so maybe that's why she's not saying anything in retaliation but it just felt weird that she was just coming at Phaedra, and Phaedra was just sitting there like, you know how she doing it. She, you know, for whatever reason, didn't want to say anything, so it just was weird to me. I feel like it does sadden me to see them go back and forth like this because they were good friends. Um, You know, I guess it's it's reality TV, so it's supposed to be like, conflict and this that and the third but when you see people that are really friends end up like this it's 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 sad it's sad and like i said it just feels weird the way that candy is deciding to now declare war on phaedra and phaedra is just kind of like you know so we'll see what happens um coming up this season but yeah you know what y'all think? I mean, I would love to get a conversation started in the comments. Um, get a convo started in the comments. See what y'all think. Um, yeah. So, I hope you guys are having a good day and have a great holiday. Um, Christmas will be here very soon. So, have a good one. Peace.